Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Uh, sorry it's been a while, but uh, my dad has been home lately because he got laid off from his job. So, And I don't like recording when that happens because um, it's really difficult to uh, record when people keep coming in your room and interrupting everything you're doing. So anyway, uh, there's just a couple of things I want to do real quick um, before heading off to uh, our next destination which of course as you know is the ocean so first thing I want to do is head off to uh, I started off in uh, East Clocktown because I want to head off to the um, thing real quick so there's actually something else I want to do too now that I remember but I was sitting here thinking about what all I want to do in this episode and I just remember one more but that'll be the very uh, last thing I do. Or I'll do it after I do this first thing I want to do here. So, and I'll need rupees to get what I want to do, so. Okay, here we are in the uh, graveyard. So the first thing I actually want to do is... Uh, Go ahead and go over here. You'll notice a similar, uh, very familiar character to Ocarina of Time. I am Dampe, the gravekeeper who watches over this graveyard. My face is frightening, but I'm not a bad person. All the graves here belong to the family members of the king of the Icana Castle, a place that lies beyond the mountains. Even nowadays, the ghosts come out at night. It's a frightening graveyard. Yep. So anyway, first thing we want to do is, if you'll notice, there's this giant skeleton thing here. So, first we want to do is go ahead and equip our um, Deku mask and play the uh, Sonata of Awakening. So, oh, hold on, I messed it up. Oh, nope. Actually, I need to be a Deku to play it anyway. I can't believe I forgot it. I just looked at it. Stupid. Okay. Um, oops. I didn't mean to take that off. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so. Okay, so we woke up uh, Captain or this uh, big skull dude. So let's go ahead and go through. A uh, fire and skull tillers will pop up to stop you if uh, you walk close to them. So that's why I got the uh, arrows filled because you need to hit them with them to stop them. Otherwise, you won't be able to uh, stop them, and you need to stop them to get the uh, item that you want to get here. So keep doing that to stall him and when you get close to him just chop him and uh, the battle will start so anyway hurry chase him until you get your chance at him but if you get too close you might regret it so yeah basically what you all you have to do is just keep on chopping at him and uh, he will uh, fight you so just keep on doing that if he jumps up like that just dodge him you'll see the shadow where he's gonna appear so just make sure you dodge him, make sure you don't let him hit you. So, Wait, it is my loss. Seeds are weapon. I commanded the Akana army in the Akana kingdom atop the hill. I am called Skolkita. Since being shamed by a loss in a battle within my kingdom, I have waited here for one to come and awaken my soul. young swordsman who has awakened and definitely defeated me I shall rely on your power to fulfill my request I ask you to take my soul which rests in the fiercely burning flame and convey my words to my men who even in death remain loyal to me tell them the war has ended then I shall be able to drift quietly into sleep Captain, sir. May I take leave, sir?
Yes, sir. Okay, you could wait until you get another item later to do this, but I like to do it now because, uh, well, because it'll be easier to have a fourth, uh, bottle later, and we need this to get a fourth bottle. So go ahead and open the chest. Got the captain's hat. Where it was C. The ghosts of a hundred soldiers swear allegiance to this symbol of authority. Alright, so now we got it. And, uh... <clears throat> we have to be here at night time, so... But anyway, let's go ahead and keep chopping these things here. And actually, we're supposed to be here at night time. I kept... Playing, I keep playing the song wrong here, but uh, I played the wrong song here, which is um, <laughs> the song of healing. But anyway, this part that I'm doing now, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know uh, is post commentary because uh, I messed up somewhere. So, but anyway, we play the song of soaring here, and we're gonna soar to Clock Town because there's some things I want to do here. So. Okay, so, uh, we want to get something here at the, uh, Curiosity Shop. It sells, uh, that's why I was, I'm get, I was getting rupees, because, uh, there's a red potion in here that we want to buy for what I want to do next. So, go ahead and talk to him. Welcome, what are you looking for? And we get the red potion, because we're going to need that for what we're going to do here in a second. So go ahead and exit. Okay, so um, there's something else I want to do here, but it's uh, got to do it a little bit later. I think it's at like two o'clock. I think I'm um, saying is, but actually. First, before we do that, I'm sorry. First, I want to go ahead and uh, do what I got that red potion for. So, so we want to go ahead and go back out the east like I did there and call Epona. Okay, and there she is. Alright, so as soon as you get on, go ahead and get on her. And we're going to ride back to the... Um, to the desert back here or whatever you want to call it because there's something I want to do real quick all right so just keep on walking avoiding the uh, or not walking but riding Epona avoiding the real bomb juice and I'm waiting here because I I hear there's some more uh, real bomb trees I'm waiting for them to explode before I get off of Epona and around these circle of rocks, you want to go ahead and use your Lens of Truth. And there's an invisible guy here, so go ahead and talk to him. Huh? Don't tell me. That's... I'm shocked. You're the first person who's ever spoken to me. I've been here for many years, waving my arms around and asking for help, but everyone ignores me and passes me by. It's because I'm as, impre as impressive as a stone, right? Yeah. Um, I have a request. Can you give me some medicine that would make even an unnoticeable stone like me feel better? And this is why we got the red potion. So go ahead and equip it and show it to him. Ah, that is that it? I feel better, I think. Thanks. Oh, here, ingratitude. And it gives us a stone mask, which will be pretty, um... Important later. Now, let me practice standing out. Shower the Stolen Soldier was added to your notebook. You helped the Inconspicuous Soldier. This was added to your notebook. 
All right, so we got a new mask. Uh, the next thing I want to do is go to Clock Town because there is something that I want to do there. Um, so let's go ahead and go to Clock Town. Actually, I'm sorry. There was something that was supposed to go on that I thought was at 2 o'clock, but uh, it's actually at 6. So... <clears throat> I don't even know what I'm doing here. Okay, yeah. I thought it was at six o'clock at uh, two o'clock, but it's actually at six, like I was saying before. But um, anyway, go ahead and play the song to turn it the night of the first day, or you can do this on night of the second day. It don't really matter. But anyway, what you want to do after you turn it to the night of the second day is go ahead and go to West Clock Town, which is where I'm going right now. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm playing the inverted song of time to go ahead. I'm going ahead and playing that to uh, slow down time. So, make this a little easier. And I could do this and get back to the graveyard by... Know, when I need to. I'll go ahead and go up to here. And go ahead and go into the post office. When you come in here, you'll see that he's actually uh, sitting there on his bed. Just being weird there, shaking his feet. So go ahead and speak to him. Eventually. <laughs> well, uh, oh yeah, I'm, I want to equip the bunny hood first real quick. Because uh, there's something I want to show. First I'm going to try to show it with uh, normally. So go ahead and speak to him. Four, five, six. Yeah. Ah, you startled me. Do not disrupt my training. In my mind, I'm running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but it is quite difficult. Will you try? Sure, why not? Press A to start. Count 10 seconds and precise moment you think you've hit 10 on the dot. Press A again. Alright, so let's go ahead and try this. Alright. So, press A. Eventually. Okay. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your yeah, time was ten twenty-five. Ah, oh, it's a little slow there. Our little, yeah, slower than pressing A. So anyway, um, you look like you want to try again. Yeah, he'll let you try, but he'll charge you two rupees every time. So I'm gonna go ahead and say no real quick, and uh, go ahead and put on the bunny hood. This will make it a little easier to do because when you're doing it. Right there where it says two seconds and it cuts off the time, it'll keep on showing the time, so. This will make it a little easier, but with my luck, I'll probably wind up screwing this up. Even with the bunny hood, so. And I'm going to press A right now. And, of course, I've screwed it up again. It was 10 and 11, so. Anyway, let's go ahead and try it again. And I accidentally pressed A too fast, dang it. Alright, so go ahead and try it again. And I'm probably going to wind up screwing it up this time, too. Because uh, I'm so bad at this. And it was 987. Yeah, <laughs> Still didn't make it. Dang. Alright, let's go ahead and try it again. I'm probably going to wind up screwing it up again, I'm sure. I don't know why I keep screwing this up. I never do this badly when I had the bunny hood. I usually get it. First time I put the bunny hood on, but nope, not this time. And it's 10-11 again. Yes, I messed up again. So hopefully I'll get it this time because uh, I'm sure you could... Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hopefully I'll get it this time. <laughs> I'm sure you are getting tired of watching me doing this. So let's go ahead and try it again. And... And there it is. 10. Yay. Huh? Ten seconds? That is amazing. You have reflexes suitable for a postman. 
As thanks for showing me something impressive, I'll give you this. And he gives us a piece of heart. Now, if you can notice, his legs are kind of phasing through the bed, which is kind of funny. But anyway, I can't. Uh, you showed your wild instincts. It was added to your notebook. Yep. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, get out of here, and I will meet you when I get back to the graveyard. So I'll see you in just a minute, or just a second, actually. Okay, so here we are again in the graveyard. Uh, yeah, while I was out there, I got hit by a blue bubble and I got jinxed, so I can't use my sword. But I don't really need to, because here you want to go ahead and equip your uh, Keaton mask. Alright, so go ahead and you want to look for the tombstone that has all those Skultulas circling around it, which is right there, of course. So go ahead and speak to one of them. Huh? Ah, Captain, sir. Excuse me, sir. Everyone, give the captain your attention. We haven't seen you in some time, Captain, sir. As for your orders, sir, we have been guarding these graves closely. We have been expecting your next order, sir. So what shall we do? Um, either guard the grave or open them. Tell them to open it. Uh, open it? Yes, sir. Everyone, follow me. Alright, so they open the grave and hop in, and you need to follow them. 